Who does that potato look like? <laughs> Mickey. Mickey Mouse potato. It's been a long summer. We've had a great harvest. We're still harvesting. Thanksgiving is coming up, so we're very excited about that. I have been waiting to see what's going on with our potatoes. Today's the day. Look at this recycling bin. Oh, one, two, three. Oh. Whoa. oh my gosh, looks like we might have some potatoes. Pick it. What do you see? Potatoes. Potatoes. Look at them all. Oh my goodness. Look how crazy that one is. There's so many. There's so many. Get one there. Look at this. Foley. We got a crazy potato. We got a crazy foot potato. It's a foot potato. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I just realized? What? We planted our potatoes a little high. We should have planted no. them lower. No. Because all the potatoes are at the top. So next year, we're gonna plant them a little lower. I still can't believe we got a Mickey Mouse potato. Oh. Okay. 23 pounds of potatoes. It weighs more than your sister. You plant a few seed potatoes in a recycling bin, and this is what you get. But Maya, what grew out of the back of the garden over here that was a surprise? A pumpkin. We weren't planning on growing a pumpkin this year, but I left a rogue pumpkin plant growing from a seed that was probably from last Halloween. And uh, this is about the time where pumpkins are done. You can see it's still attached to the main stem. I'm gonna leave it attached uh, just until Halloween. I'll pick it basically the day before Halloween. But the leaves have all died off. And although there were several pumpkins, small ones growing on the vine, I cut them all off. You leave one, as soon as one starts to grow and get big, I cut all the other ones off, and at least you get one, maybe two, sometimes you get two big pumpkins, but so that's our rogue pumpkin, the kids love it. We're lucky, the peppers have been doing fantastic. Whoa, wait till you see this one, Maya. You ready? One, two, three, open your eyes. <laughs> How big is that? Pull that one carefully. Good job. Pretty good peppers for October. The peppers, as soon as we get a hard frost, I'll have to pick all of the peppers. We got so many hot peppers here, we can't even get rid of them all. Tomatoes are at the end of their run as well. Just pulling some of the dead leaves off. Once we get into October, I really sort of stop maintaining them because a lot of these tomatoes will never even ripen. Tomatoes are good until we get a frost. Um, when I see that we're gonna get a hard frost, I'll pick all the tomatoes off, I'll bring them inside. Uh, many of them will ripen inside at that point. It's the best way of salvaging them, but when you see like this, new tomatoes growing, that'll never make it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pull it off. I'm gonna pull off any new growth, just to make sure that the tomatoes that are on here, like anything this size, gets the maximum amount of energy. You can see we're still gonna get a few decent guys in here. Nice little bundle. So looks like I have another six weeks of tomatoes or so. It's been an epic year for zucchinis. I was getting zucchinis in June and we're still getting zucchinis towards the end of October here. This guy here, I mean, look at this zucchini plant. Oh, can you believe this? Look at that, beautiful zucchini late in the fall. I mean, this one here is still getting a tremendous amount of sunlight. It's the healthiest of them all. Once we get frost again, I'll just have to pick everything off, but no frost in the forecast, so lots of zucchini still to come. This was a huge experiment for me this year. I decided to try Brussels sprouts. I mean, who likes Brussels sprouts? This guy. And uh, what I did is I picked the leaves off as, the, as it grew. You can see I've been picking the leaves off here, just snapping them. I think that my ploy has worked if you, oh yeah, check this out. I have got Brussels sprouts. Look at that. Boom. There's gotta be a hundred Brussels sprouts on this plant. Uh, this plant loves the cold. So I'm hoping 
these Brussels sprouts up here, which are pretty small, will continue to grow. Once you've picked them off, they're done. They don't grow back like some things. So we'll have a bare spot there, but I figure if I pick off enough Brussels sprouts for dinner, every time we need them, uh, that'll just put more energy into the other Brussels sprouts that are still on there. Cauliflower. Found out about cauliflower. I planted three of them across the front. Two late in the spring. It got too hot. I planted this one a little later. Seems like this is going to be the real winner. Got a beautiful head of cauliflower coming out. This is the cauliflower that I planted later in the season. What I am going to do though, is I'm going to tie the leaves over top of the cauliflower head because it doesn't like a ton of sunlight. It actually, uh, it'll bolt faster. Plus we don't want the moths landing on it. So I'm gonna protect the head of cauliflower by just putting an elastic over this bundle of leaves until it's finished and it grows. And uh, that should be ready to pick in about a week. It'll triple in size, I'm gonna say. So we'll get a good head of, of uh, cauliflower out of that. I'm excited for that one. Broccoli has been outrageous. And since the weather got colder, the plant got bigger. So obviously the broccoli likes the cooler weather. No matter how many times I break off the broccoli, I continue to get more broccoli. So you can see, actually, if you look in here, that was the main original broccoli that I broke off. And they just keep growing. If you leave the broccoli, it bolts like this. It bolts and goes to seed. Holy cow. I just can't even keep up with the beets. It's not like that on the dance floor, but in the garden, I can't keep up with the beets. So there you go. There's uh, you can see the two different types there. These are the ones my wife likes, the candy cane beets. Inside, they've striped pink and white. Uh, I like these ones here. These are the deep red beets. They are a little earthier. Uh, both delicious, of course. Even if there's frost out, they seem to do just fine. So I'll probably have these till about Christmas. We'll be pulling out beets. So another two months of beets. I lost some carrots to rodents this year. In this section here, the rodents you can see in here, look at this disaster. Very, very frustrating because otherwise we've got some pretty great carrots in there. You can see I'm pretty happy about some of them. Look at that, rodent ate that one, gone. That's frustrating. Uh, carrots, as long as you don't have rodents attacking them, the carrots can be left in the ground all the way until uh, you get a heavy frost. If you cover them with leaves, you can actually dig them up in the middle of winter and they will be fine underground. Once the spring comes, as soon as the frost is done, the snow is melted, you'll have to pull them all or, uh, or they'll just go rotten pretty much. Kale's been going strong since early, early in the spring and it's still going strong. I mean, I can never even eat it all. And uh, we're gonna have kale probably until we get a heavy snowfall. Uh, it doesn't mind a little bit of frost. So we've got lots more kale to come. If we are getting a big snowfall in the winter and it's gonna get buried, I'll pick it all. I'll juice some, I'll freeze some, and I'll use it throughout the winter. But for now, we've got a, a little more kale to go, but what else could you ask for? It's awesome. Frankie Flowers gave me some seed onions. I'm gonna pick them all, big or small. We've had an insane amount of celery. Believe it or not, I already cut a celery off of here. See that guy there? So this is what's left. It was a triple. The stevia here, which is about chest high now, I planted in the garden. Frankie Flowers gave me this in the spring. Uh, it's amazing and I uh, can't wait. Apparently we can eat the flowers too, super sweet. Still super sweet, um, but there it is. It really took off. Did a number in the garden there. I also planted this tiny rosemary in the spring. It's gotten really nice and big. Now this is gonna be perfect because we grew potatoes as well. So we're gonna have fresh organic rosemary with our fresh organic potatoes. Not bad. It has been an epic year in the organic veggie garden in our backyard. The kids, my wife, myself, we've had so much fun growing everything, eating everything, and sharing the experience with you. Uh, another great harvest today. And with the forecasts calling for no frost for another two to three weeks, looks like we've got lots more to go, but I'm gonna wrap it up here. It's time to move on. I gotta get back to renovating. No more gardening, or at least not much from here on in. So. Hope you had a great season and we'll see you in the spring.